Okay, I got this whole row of lick tubs planted. I didn't have enough marigolds to put one in every one, but most of them have it. These are all tomatoes in this whole row. So yeah, better get my canning stuff. <laughs> what else we got? That's aroma. Right here I got some uh, cucumbers. I gotta make another cage for this one. That's also cucumber. You got my potatoes. These are Roma tomatoes. Those are green bell peppers. Last year I planted two plants in a tub and they did real well, so I figure I'll get three in there. They'll do fine. And that's also bell peppers. This one I got fire ants in, so I'm gonna put some something in there get rid of them yeah, this is a yeah that's uh let's see what we got down here don't have anything planted in these yet there's my radishes they look happy uh that's some kind of pepper this one of them i didn't label i think it's just a california bell pepper this is a mixabel spicy bell pepper so i'm curious to see how that taste and those are leeks i thought they were onions but they're leeks i guess they're similar and then i planted my chives right there see how they do and i got the dirt added in here uh none of my herbs come out good so i'm just gonna go buy some that are uh, ones i've seen in the feed store they look good but I couldn't hardly get mine to grow I don't know why I'm not good at seeding <laughs> that's why I need the greenhouse I think that's the biggest problem moving them in and out all day and every day and probably all these will be all herbs I don't think herbs need the big space except maybe basil and sage and that's it guys I got five bags of uh, mulch left and what I'm gonna do is tomorrow I'm gonna get out of here Let's come down here I'm gonna come down here and dig this all up yesterday or tomorrow get it all tilled up dig down deep in there there's a lot of soil in there so you can see I've got it raised up and I filled that up uh, <coughs> year before last uh, and I'll show you what I'm going to plant there. Sweet potatoes. Yep. That's how they came. I didn't really want six, but I'm going to plant them all in there. And this stuff is what's left. Either, it's either struggling or too small to plant. I do got some things coming up. But man, most of these I planted in January. And I got a couple of tomatoes left. Those are Romas. And okra bell pepper I think another kind of okra and I believe those are uh, squash one of them is squash I think it's that that right there that's squash but they look pretty pathetic <laughs> all right guys that's where I'm at with the garden right now all right I got some sweet potatoes started here uh, I'll, I'll eventually put mulch on this whole thing but I'm taking some of this soil digging a deep hole putting that in mixing it in this is kind of a sandy loam, so I think it'll be good for potatoes. These are sweet potatoes. So I got five more to plant. Try to keep them up here in this deep area. One over there, a couple in here in the middle. And uh, they should do well here. All right. The sweet potatoes are in the ground. And uh, I, what I did is I dug a hole about two and a half feet deep, big square around each plant. And then I added topsoil in there, like I said I was gonna do, and planted them, put the mulch on, looks good. This is a pretty good area too. It's, it's gonna get a lot more sun, because these trees are gone, although pines didn't, uh, they didn't provide much shade anyway. But uh, should have pretty good hollow sweet potatoes. This is the first time I've ever grown them. So, uh, and I'm just gonna fill that dude up and hand water them instead of stretching the hose from the garden all the way over here or i may just get another hose i don't know it'd be nice to have one up here i don't have any spigot up here 
All right, now I'm gonna move on. I got one more bag of mulch left, and I'm, I think I'm gonna plant some okra. I'll be back. All right, for the most part, we're probably about 80% planted. That's a serrano, and that's a jalapeno, real small. We'll see if they make it. I don't know. Potatoes are looking good. But man, look at these. This is about the greenest tomatoes I've ever seen. Or this one here especially. This is a uh, a black prince heirloom tomato. I'm curious to see what that's coming out like. We're rolling on it. Now I can start picking up them logs over there. I've been putting that off. And uh, get that taken care of. And guys, I am having a lot of problems uploading. It'll get halfway after uploading all day and it just quits. So I don't know what's going on with Verizon, but I'm working on something else. Hopefully soon, won't have internet issues anymore. So, time you're seeing this video, heck, these plants are probably another foot taller. And Miss Libby's over there. I bought her a chew bone today. But she just didn't have nothing to do. So she's been busy on that chew bone. What you All doing, right, Mr. Guys. Waddles? You gonna come see us? Here he comes. He knows he's a movie star. Look at him. And Thelma Lou. The other one's still in there being broody. What you coming over here for? bottle <laughs> what is it oh you got a cold buddy let me get you some medicine and they do that little sneezing like that that's like a, a cold that we get I'll put some Tylon 50 on them you got a whole mess of that scratch over there and you're coming way over here to get some you goofy and there's Miss Lady, look at her, working on her chew bum. Is that good? Here, silly. Here, silly. That's good chew bum. You done ate all that stuff out of it? Wow. Alright, let's leave her to her chew bum.